Sorry we missed you last week. Feels good to be back here at Ten Spot Studios. All week long, we've rounded up the greenest tech. This week, we have a case that's been around as something else, a car that has the airbags on the outside, a new turbine that aims to be quieter, and more here on Green Tech Weekly! Thanks for watching. In our first story, we have a case for your gadget that used to be trash. The re-case for MiniWiz is using recycled bottle caps. I always wondered what they used those for. As its primary ingredient, but when this plastic is recycled, it loses some of its strengths. So they are adding rice husks. Rice husks? This material is called a polymer. MiniWiz says that they can make this case with a minimal of CO2, and the packaging is recyclable too. You can get yours for about $25. It's out there now. Oh, and it has a place for your credit cards. For our second story, a newly designed wind turbine is silent but powerful. I thought we were better than that. Okay, sorry. Just call it what they call it. That would be the Eco Whisper Turbine. That's better. Traditional turbines normally have three large blades and make a lot of noise, but this new design has ten times the blades and they're smaller. Wait, wait, wait. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and the big ones aren't that loud. Well, what about this? With all those extra blades, there's a 30% increase in power and they can keep going in lower wind speeds. It's probably because of all that extra surface area. The Australian based company called Renewable Energy Solutions isn't sure if and when they will be putting these into production, so for now, we will just have to put up with the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh noise. Next, we have a solar powered backup battery with some bonus features. Third Wave Power's laptop sized battery adds a flashlight, radio, and ultrasonic bug repeller. That's cool. The 2500 milliamp battery will take about six hours to charge on a good sunny day, but you can plug it into the wall if you want, and that will speed up things to about an hour. With two USB ports, you can charge just about anything. If you just want to use it for its built in accessories, then it'll last for about 20 hours. The really cool part is, in order to switch between the options, all you have to do is tilt it. The built in accelerometer does the rest. That is pretty cool. Wait, there's more! Wait, are you doing an infomercial for them? No. Good, that's just not what our show is. With the accelerometer doing all the work, this means that the whole unit is water and dust resistant. They plan to ship this in January for about $80. That's too late for 2012 and the uh, apocalypse. No, it's not. No, it's not. Crap. I just <laughs> This next story is a first for the people of Uganda. The vehicle design mission at Makerere University has built the country's first electric car. The project started in 2009 with a few students from the College of Engineering, Art, and Design. This was no small feat, though. For the first year, they had a lot of faith, but no money. In December of 2010, the president of Uganda gave them a grant that really got the ball rolling. They had more roadblocks too, from running into red tape to get some of the parts from other countries and having a hard time getting some people to sign up for the project. But after all the issues, they finally revealed the Cura EV. The car runs on a lithium ion battery pack and has a range of 80 kilometers or 50 miles. That is pretty sweet, and good for them for persevering. Oh, and a top speed of 124 miles per hour. Wow, that is so much faster than your car. I know. This just goes to show you that you can always succeed if you put your mind to it. It's a great day for Uganda. Mm-hmm. Now for an EV here in the States. Ford is now taking reservations for their Focus electric car. We've all been hearing about it for some time now, but the car showed up on their website for pre-order. The going price is about 40 grand with shipping, but if you subtract the federal tax credit, you will only end up paying about 32.5. The car's final price will rely on what bells and whistles you end up with. I think I'll go ahead and sign up right now. Well, there's a catch there though. What's that? Ford is only releasing it to California and New York for now, with other markets later this year. Aw, oh, shingles. Sorry. And for our last story, we have something completely different. 
The Humid X iSave SC1 is trying to be the safest car in the world. Well, not really. Okay, but it has to be safe because this three-wheeled car has the airbags on the outside. Hey, it looks like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man's car. And how is that green tech? Well, we here at Green Tech Weekly look at all things sustainable. And this is electric. Uh, well, that's true. So the reason this car is on the list is because of its giant safety feature. The car is basically wrapped in a big air-filled pillow. How is that safe for the driver? It's safe if you hit somebody. As you can see, it is like a small golf cart, but with most of the outside covered in a fabric covered bladder. If you happen to hit someone by accident, then you shouldn't hurt them. Well, unless you run over them completely. Hmm. The pillow car will be available in Japan this December for about $10,000. And Scott, I know you want one. I know you're wrong. I know you're lying. Nope. You can get yours here in America early next year, but don't expect to find a matching sheet set. <laughs> That's another show. If you want to learn more about the stories in this week's show, check out the links in our show notes here at greentechweekly.tv and be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Keep up with the newest show here, and remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green! Rethink it green! Rethink it green! Yay! I'm gonna get you a can. Say it, I'm gonna get you a can. I'm gonna get you a can. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. And now, a word from our sponsor. Pet is a penny!